garbage in, garbage out, composting. You know that landfills are not a good solution to manage garbage. So, it is best if we make sure that we send the least possible material to a landfill. What do we send to a landfill? Material that cannot be composted or recycled. So, what do we do with the material that can be composted or recycled? We compost and recycle it. Haha, <laughs> very funny. I'm sure you must be thinking that. Okay, let's get down to it and see what we really mean by composting and recycling. Composting means breaking down the material and turning it into useful manure. Natural material decays anyway due to the action of bacteria. You know that living things decompose once they die. However, that process is quite slow. In composting, we make it happen much faster. Researchers have studied how these bacteria work and how they act in the presence of certain chemicals. Then, they do a lot of experiments to see what to do in order to get good decomposition speeds. This is called research. After the process of composting is done, we get manure. This can be added to the soil to make it more fertile and grow better and more crops. So composting takes care of garbage and gives us a useful end product. Isn't it a wonderful way to deal with garbage? Composting is great. But it is important that you understand that only organic waste can be composted. Plastic, rubber, electronic material and synthetic products cannot be composted. That means we must only have organic material to make compost. Now, though that sounds alright, it's a difficult thing to do in reality. Even if you consider that you would use all the leaves swept up in a park for composting, you will get plastic bags, chocolate wrappers, tennis balls, plastic plates and spoons and other such things in the pile of leaves too. So, that leaf bunch as it is cannot be taken for composting. Even if leaves are swept off a street, it can have motor oil, and other inorganic material in it. So, garbage has to be separated before composting. It is best if people separate the waste when they put it into the garbage bins. People can separate their garbage in three different ways. Things that can be recycled, things that can be composted, Things that will go into the landfill because neither of these things can be done to it. Now, how will people know which things can be composted and which things can be recycled? Well, we have to teach them in school and that's what you are learning too. What can be composted? Anything that was once alive or that comes from something that is alive. So, the scraps from vegetables and fruits that you would throw away can be composted. If you have leftover cooked food, that can be composted too. The tea leaves that you strain can be composted. Paper and paper napkins can be composted too. Now, think and say whether these items can be composted or not. Eggshells? Yes. Spoiled milk? Yes. Cardboard pizza boxes? Yes. Cooked pasta? Yes. Stale bread? Yes. Nutshells? Yes. Unpopped popcorn? Yes. Pizza crusts? Yes. Toothpicks? Yes. 
nail clippings? Yes. Potty? Yes. Urine? Yes. Cotton sheets? Yes. Wool clothes? Yes. Pencil shavings? Yes. Old rope? Yes. Flowers? Yes. Hair? Yes. Feathers? Yes. When you are putting things for composting, it is best to make small pieces so that they decompose faster. If you are putting a cotton sheet for composting, then shred it up. Instead of putting a large branch in, break it up into pieces. You can even do composting yourself if you have a garden. You need to make a pit or put these things in a bin and mix them with soil. Composting needs air. So turn and stir your compost every week so that oxygen reaches all the parts. Composting also needs moisture. So water the compost bin regularly to make sure it stays moist. But make sure it's just moist. It shouldn't be wet. Composting needs time. So give it 12 to 18 months and you should have a great homemade fertilizer to add to your garden or your potted plants. Some people add earthworms to the compost pit. Earthworms eat the rotting food and then they poop into the soil. That poop is really good for plants. So it makes the soil even better. As earthworms move through the soil, they create air tunnels, which is good for composting. As they move, it also distributes things better within the compost pit. Earthworms convert garbage into valuable waste and keep the environment healthy. Converting garbage into compost with earthworms is quite easy to do and breeding earthworms is quite simple too. This is called vermiculture and the compost that is formed is called vermicompost. If you are doing vermicompost, there are a few things you should be careful about. Don't keep the compost bin in direct sunlight. Keep the pit moist. Worms cannot live in places that are too hot or too cold. They also need moisture around them. Protect the bin from rats and birds. They eat the earthworms up. Also be careful about what you put in the compost bin. Don't put things that have salt, oil, vinegar, meat or milk. These are not good for the worms. If you put these in the pit, the earthworms catch diseases. When all the material looks loose and soil like in a few weeks, your vermicompost is ready. Now, start putting food in one corner of the pit. All the worms will move there. Then you can safely remove the compost from the other part. Let it dry and then it is ready to use. Put more stuff in the rest of the pit and make more compost. Some people burn garbage like leaves and sticks. Do you think that's a good idea? It makes smoke and pollutes the environment and you miss out on the compost that you could make out of it too. Moreover, if you burn things like plastic or rubber, the fumes that come out of it are actually poisonous. So burning garbage is always a bad idea. What did we just learn? Things that were once alive or have come from something that is alive are organic things. Organic things can be turned into compost and used to make plants grow better. Compost is a natural fertilizer. We can use earthworms to help make compost too. Such compost is called vermicompost. Earthworms protect the environment and turn garbage into valuable manure.